Sometimes it seems like there's a nail salon on every corner. Manicures and pedicures are a quick way to pamper yourself and put your best hand or foot forward. Every once in a while for a special occasion I do get yeah, manicures. It all adds up to more than $7 billion a year, and more than a quarter of those dollars go to gel manicures. They're pricey but popular because... I like it because it's long-lasting and don't chip and it stays shiny. What makes them so long-lasting is the polish that contains polymers that harden when exposed to ultraviolet light. The same UV light that's used in the tanning beds that have been linked to skin cancer, including deadly melanoma. Which raises the question of whether the nail lights might also pose a skin cancer risk. We ask nail expert dermatologist Dr. Chris Adigan. The actual risk of inducing skin cancer by using these lamps is actually quite low. It's not zero, but it's quite low. While there have been rare reports of skin cancer in women who got gel manicures, it's impossible to say the UV lights caused it. The actual risk depends on how often you get a gel manicure, but even frequent users are likely to be at very low risk. What the UV light is more likely to do is cause premature aging, wrinkling, and spotting of your hands. The bigger problem with gel manicures, according to Dr. Adigan, is the chemicals that are in the polish and what it takes to remove the long-lasting polish. Allergic contact dermatitis in people, as well as the dryness that can happen from the removal process and exposure to the acetone. So what do you do if you want to be really safe? Dr. Adigan says get a pair of UV blocking gloves and cut off the fingertips or lay a towel over your hands. Last resort, apply sunscreen to your hands before going under the UV lights. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.